We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Harry's Bar and Burger is here. Chef Harrison LK, Harry's Classic uh, Cheeseburger. That's what we're putting together. So good to see you. Thanks so much well, for coming in. Thank you so much for having us. It's nice to uh, nice to finally be back after this little hiatus. Yeah, a little sense of normalcy, mm -hmm. which is which is also good. So so we're going to make one of the things that you guys are so famous for putting together. One of these burgers, and I'm a big fan of of uh, of your locations, and you got a bunch of locations all over. So tell us what we need to put these together, and what makes these so special. So, uh, first and foremost, the thing that makes our burgers so great and special is the meat. Mm -hmm. We use uh, all Hereford beef, 80-20 blend, so it has a nice fat content and lots of flavor. And, I mean, that's the, uh, you know, that's the, the base of, our, of the burger, right. obviously. Um, Everything revolves around that. So we have some beautiful onions, awesome house-made special sauce, uh, which is a blend of some mayonnaise, tarragon, mustard, and some ketchup. Okay. Um, we use a uh, yellow American cheese just for a little color blast. Fresh iceberg shredded lettuce because it has a great crunch, mm -hmm. and some beautiful dill pickles. Now the great thing about it too is when you do go there, these burgers are not the giant burgers; they're smaller burgers, so you can order a bunch of these and pretty so sock them away. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, each order we get uh, two two ounce burgers mm -hmm. so altogether it's a four ounce patty so, so it's a it's a, it's a good amount of ground beef especially for five bucks it's tough to beat that right um but uh it's it's very filling we use these awesome potato rolls which are all butter grilled and have a great crust on them and they hold all the sauce and all the juice of the burger in mm -hmm. and uh it's a, it's a really good burger and and not only burgers there you do have a full bar at all of the locations as well and delicious french fries too. Have a full bar delicious french fries we use a little worcestershire powder and mm -hmm. our pepper okay so it gives it a little bit of that umami flavor and uh, also special today which we're launching tomorrow is a spicy maple sriracha chicken sandwich which i'm going to make for you later on oh excellent so so it's not only just burgers that you make there you can have something else while you're there as well absolutely we do burgers chicken sandwiches hot dogs and uh, and harry a bunch of locations too right is there three four four locations, four locations. one on uh, federal hill in, in providence okay. north main street we have 200 front street in uh, lincoln and then in historic newport right on thames street right before o'brien's we have a beautiful location with two stories Overlooking the, the wharf. Beautiful. Okay, sounds good. Smells delicious in here. It's good to be back in the Roadshow Kitchen today. Uh, we're going to put this together and give them a try in just a little bit. Back to you. Well, it's been a long time since I've said this. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning with Chef Harris, and he's here from Harry's Bar and Burger. And of course, you brought a burger with you. Ready to get cooking, absolutely. If you bring Burgers anything else, in. I'm going to kick you out. I, I shouldn't <laughs> come here if I bring anything else. Well, it's so nice to have you here. Uh, first of all, give us an update. You guys are are open. You're in business. So, you're doing so well. So we're open. Yeah. Um, inside and outside eating, uh, seating at all locations. Good. Um, things are going well. You know, we uh, appreciate all the support from everyone. And uh, you know, and uh, special shout out to uh, Providence location just voted us best burger in Providence. Hey, so bravo! Thank you, everyone, for uh, voting us and helping make that happen. All right, well, let's see how it happens because right. we want to know how to make the best. Well, we always have some uh, beautiful uh, to butter toasted buns here, which I so. would eat just as is. And let me no, tell you, that makes a heck of a difference whenever you're making a burger or some sort of sandwich. If you to toast that bun, you get an extra texture. I love it. And it helps seal in the juices of any of the mm. meat or extra sauce that you want to put on it, too, so it That's helps. That's a great point, yeah. So we have some beautiful Harvard beef, and then we have some finely diced onion. Mm -hmm. And Will was mentioning before, I mean, you can order a, a bunch of these. When, she, when you go to your place. Yeah, and it looks like you can two order sums, them. Three sums, yep. four sums, however you want them. Yeah. A little salt and pepper. Burgers are a perfect size, too. Especially if you want to try a couple different ones. I know you're making the classic burger today. But yeah, just uh, classic with cheese today for yeah. uh, National it's uh, National Cheeseburger Day on Friday, September oh. 18th. So okay. part of the reason why uh, you know we wanted to mm -hmm. highlight the cheeseburger because it's the foundation of every other cheeseburger that's come after it. You know? Hey, I'll use it as a reason to eat a cheeseburger. Why not celebrate? So, and what makes our, our burger so great? The beef, the onions, and then mm. we smash our burgers as well. Yes. So we're going to get a nice crust all around the burger. And, and what it's going to do, it's going to seal in those onions and start getting them brittle, and they're going to liquefy inside the meat to keep everything nice, a little yeah. crunchy and juicy. 
You're right. That press, I mean, just ensures that the onions are really getting into that, that meat there. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Has that always caramelized. been the case? Did you guys always start by smushing them? or Since day one. Really? Since day one, yep. What an interesting technique that you thought, eh, I'm you just going to speed this up. <laughs> unfortunately, I couldn't bring it here with this cast iron griddle, but mm -hmm. in the stores we use a, uh, it's called a mirrored top griddle, yeah. which uh, you can actually hold your hand above the griddle and you won't feel any heat from it because it holds in the heat so well so when we put the burgers on wow it creates this beautiful crust mm -hmm. that you just can't replicate but i'm gonna try yeah well you're doing good and i'm assuming i mean i'm, I'm watching the color change right before our eyes and they don't really need much time nope so they cook quick you'll see right around the edges will start getting a little brown mm -hmm. and um they're almost done yet we have a little more I like to see a little more cooked to get a nice crust. Yeah, so we're going to let that go. But for the sake of time, how do you dress these up? Um, so after this, so what we can do, we can start actually get, getting the uh, burger set up. Okay. So we'll put some pickles down. Yes. Then we get a little bit of special sauce. It's a secret. Secret. Yum. A dollop on each side. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, okay. Not skimping on anything. I love it. When I go, I extra extra sauce. <laughs> And then we have some excellent uh, shredded iceberg. Mm -hmm. A nice crunch. I like iceberg. Yeah, it's got a great, great crunch there. And of course, the cheese. What's your right. cheese preference for a burger like this? So our burgers, we use all American, yellow mm -hmm. American cheese. Uh, it has a nice creaminess. It's mild flavor. Yeah. All right. So now we can give these. Don't mess with a good thing. Right? It works. Exactly. Well, these are looking great, and hey, I think you've achieved that nice crust that you were mentioning previously. So we're going to finish dressing these up. It's such a, a great recipe if you're looking for a, a crowd pleaser meal. Who doesn't love a good burger? And as Harry said, Friday, National Cheeseburger Day. Gotta love that. So enjoy this and enjoy the recipe. We'll have it posted up on Roadshow.com.